I still remember that night vividly, when my friends and I decided to go camping in the mountains, seeking the tranquility of nature. It was an experience I'll never forget, and it all started from the moment we arrived at the campsite. My friends and I drove through mountain roads to a place far from the hustle and bustle of the city. It was our first time in this forest, and I could feel the excitement and curiosity building inside me. I was a camping novice, while my friend Cody was an old hand, having camped in these woods many times before. When we arrived, the sun was already beginning to set. We parked near a picnic area and hiked into the woods from there. After about 15 minutes, we found a suitable spot for pitching our tents. A spacious clearing big enough for two tents, a portable stove, and a campfire. I let my friend Cody take the lead since he was a seasoned scout, whereas I was just a novice. He always set up tents faster than me, taking only a few minutes, while it usually took me over 20. This was my first camping experience since that incident, and perhaps my last. Next, we set up a campfire using rocks and gathered some branches and firewood. Although Cody had brought along some fire starters and a lighter, we decided to cheat a bit. It didn't matter much. As dusk fell, we lit the campfire and Cody started grilling steaks and burgers. Cody always had a knack for camping food and he was a great cook, so I always trusted him to feed us well. Of course, we also had bear spray handy, just in case the scent of food attracted any bears though Cody always said that was highly unlikely. He always insisted that in the woods, the real concern should be other people. We ate and drank beer, listening to classic rock music. If you've never been camping, you can't understand the joy of spending time outdoors with friends or family. It was amazing to reminisce about good times while listening to music in the woods. After dark, we started playing card games on a small folding table. After playing some traditional card games, we moved on to Uno. It was at this moment that we heard some noises in the woods. I paused the music playing on my phone, and the speakers went silent. Now we could clearly hear someone humming a tune in the woods, along with footsteps. It was eerie to hear this in the dark woods. Cody urged me to find a flashlight, and I scrambled to find it, but by the time I did, the sound had vanished. I asked Cody if this was something to worry about, and he said it was definitely unusual. Very few people venture deep into the woods, let alone around a camping area humming a song. It was downright creepy. I felt a sense of unease, and I could see Cody felt the same. We returned to playing card games with the music turned down low. Just when we were least expecting it, a large stick suddenly dropped in the middle of our campsite, startling us both nearly out of our skins. It didn't fall from a tree. It was thrown towards us. Cody shouted, Who's messing around out there? Show yourself! Then we heard the footsteps retreating into the distance. I suggested we pack up and move to another spot, but Cody was adamant. Moving in the dark wasn't wise. We both had bear spray with us, and he suggested I keep it near my tent at night, as it was our closest form of defense. We kept hearing the sound of branches snapping in the distance, a sound no animal would make. It was clear someone was out there, perhaps several people. Eventually, we had to go to sleep, so we decided to take turns keeping watch, ensuring no one would come to our campsite to steal or worse. Cody agreed to take the first watch. He said he'd stay up reading, so I crawled into my tent, into my sleeping bag, and drifted off. Waking up at night while camping was normal. The cold outdoors and uncomfortable sleeping bag could disturb anyone's sleep. I didn't know what had awakened me. I was still groggy. I lifted my head and saw someone's head staring at me from inside the tent. I rubbed my eyes, but the darkness made it impossible to see his face clearly. I said, Cody? thinking he was waking me up for my turn. But as I fully woke up, I began to realize something was wrong. He didn't answer me. And then I heard the tent zipper quickly close, his head vanishing. I lay back in my sleeping bag, but only for a moment. Suddenly, I sat up straight as if jolted awake, listening to footsteps in the distance. I called out, Cody? 
there was no response. I unzipped the tent, peering out into the campsite, only to find the campfire extinguished and Cody was gone. I went to Cody's tent and found the zipper closed. I opened it and saw Cody sleeping soundly in his sleeping bag. A shiver ran down my spine, goosebumps forming all over my body. I started shaking him awake, and when he finally stirred, I told him someone was in the campsite. It took him a moment to come to, just like me. But when he realized, he grabbed the bear spray. He suggested he might have dozed off while reading and advised me to sleep with him tonight, but that meant I would need my sleeping bag. He accompanied me out of the tent, keeping watch as I ran to my tent to get my sleeping bag. As I reached into my tent to grab my sleeping bag, I heard that accursed humming again. I snatched up the sleeping bag and Cody whispered to hurry. I asked, did you hear that too? He nodded. We returned to his tent, zipping it shut and keeping the bear spray within reach. At that moment, I truly wished a bear would show up to save us. Through the long and terrifying hours, I kept watch while Cody slept. By the time dawn was approaching, I woke him up and the sky was already getting brighter. We packed up, and by the time we were done, it was light enough to walk back to the car. Though we could have chosen to camp elsewhere for another night, we were both disinterested. It had been an unsettling experience, and all we wanted was to return home safely. Six years have passed since that incident, and occasionally, Cody would reach out to me to go camping together. But since that experience, I've lost interest in camping. People are just too scary. Why would someone lurk around our campsite? Seeing that person's head staring at my tent in the darkness like something out of a nightmare was almost unbelievable. I may never go camping again.